Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and I am working as an assistant professor in School of Computer Science and IT at Uttarakhand Open University. Today the topic of my video presentation is basics of cryptography. So first of all, I will discuss the learning outcomes of this video lecture. After going through this video, you will be able to define cryptography crypto system and crypto analysis. You will be able to define ciphertext and plain text. You will be able to define public keys and private keys. You will be able to understand public key cryptography. You will be able to understand private key cryptography and you will be able to define the goals of cryptography. So before taking this discussion further, I will discuss the basic terminologies used throughout this videos. The first term is plain text which is also known as clear text and that is the message written in natural language which in this case is English and it is denoted by M. Encryption is the encoding of message and it is denoted by capital E. Ciphertext it is encrypted message and it is denoted by capital C. Decryption. It is the process of decoding of ciphertext and it is denoted by D. Cryptography is most closely associated with the development and creation of mathematical algorithms used to encrypt and decrypt messages. It is about securing the communication in presence of adversities. Cryptanalysis is the science of analyzing and breaking encryption schemes. And cryptology is the combination of cryptography and cryptanalysis. I will explain the basic concept of cryptography using an example. Suppose there are two people, Alice and Bob, who want to talk and pass notes back and forth and these notes are private and they are using a public forum such as internet for passing these notes. The goal is to secure this communication against adversities and in this example the adversity is marked as Eve which actually denotes eavesdropping. In this example Eve is interested in the private conversation between Bob and Alice and can do much more than eavesdropping like Eve can change the content of the message and that could be catastrophic. The goal of cryptography is to protect this communication and make it secure. So we come up with the notion of kryptonium pipe where Alice starts sending message using the kryptonium pipe which is a secure medium and Eve could not read temper or access these messages during transit. So we define cryptology as a practice and a study of techniques for securing communication and data in the presence of adversities. This crypto system consists of different parts that are needed to communicate securely. At the core of the crypto system is an encryption program denoted by capital E, a decryption program denoted by capital D, encryption key that is denoted by KE, decryption key denoted by KD, plain text denoted by M and cipher text that is denoted by C. Now we will discuss how this encryption system works. Suppose Alice encrypts her message, her plain text message which here is represented by M using an encryption key represented by KE and the outcome is ciphertext. This ciphertext goes through the public medium. If Eve try to eavesdrop the message, Eve will get the ciphertext C. At the end of the public forum comes out another ciphertext C dash, which we hope C is equal to C dash. But Eve may temper it. In that case, C will not be equal to C dash. 
once the ciphertext is received bob decrypts the ciphertext with the decryption program using the decryption key kd the outcome may be the original message sent by alice or an error error is very important whether to decide whether the message is tampered in which case c is not equal to c dash the success of crypto system essentially lies with keeping the encryption and decryption key secret and private as the encryption and decryption programs are public and known to everyone now we will discuss types of cryptographic function the first one is secret key functions in the crypto systems where both encryption and decryption keys are same that is ke equal to kd it is known as private key communication or symmetric key encryption in symmetric key encryption both parties have same keys as the key is known to by both the parties either one of them accidentally exposing the key can break the security of the crypto system second is public key function there are some crypto systems where ke is not equal to kd both encryption and decryption keys are different these crypto systems are known as public key cryptography or asymmetric key encryption in asymmetric key encryption every user have two keys one public key and one private key private key is known to the user only and the public key of all the users is published and known to everyone in public key cryptography if alice wants to send any secret message to bob then alice will use bob's public key which is known to everyone to encrypt the message and convert this message to cipher text and send it to bob over public medium that is internet as alice is sure that only bob can decrypt this message as due to certain mathematical properties the message encrypted by any user's public key can be decrypted using that user's private key only so the encrypted message received by bob can be decrypted to plain text by using bob's private key only third is hash function cryptographic hash function is a mathematical transformation that takes a message of arbitrary length and compute it a fixed length number for any plain text m it is relatively easy to compute the hash function m that is denoted by hm given this hm there is no way to find an m that hashes to hm in a way that is substantially easier than going through all poss possible values of m and computing the hash function of m for each other it is computationally infeasible to find two values that hashes to the same thing so basically this hash function is used for data integrity now we'll discuss security goals in cryptography the high level goal of cryptography is securing communication is to provide the idea of kryptonium pipe alice and bob can share messages on the public forum over kryptonium pipe and protect the messages against enemies and adversities we typically call these enemies and adversities as eve who is very very smart and tries number of tricks to assess and decode these messages the goal is of the cryptography is to provide secrecy what secrecy mean so first of all i'll give an example where uh, we will decide we will see how secrecy is important to us if we encrypt the message to create some cipher text and pass the cipher text on the public forum and if eve intercepts the message eve can determine anything about the original message 
let me give you an example suppose if determines that the last letter of bob's reply is s is the system secure typically we will say no because the system provides insufficient security suppose in this example alice asked a question to bob i like you do you like me it's natural that bob will either reply yes or no if eve can intercept the message and recognize that the last letter is s using this eve can easily determine whether the reply is yes or no given the single bit of information all secrecy is lost the second security goal is to provide integrity suppose alice sends a message to bob saying i like you do you like me using a public forum somehow eve can intercept this and send a different message i hate you this will be a problem with integrity the third security goal is the notion of authenticity suppose alice sends the message to bob through the public forum while receiving the message bob can authenticate this message came from alice for example we don't want to the case that eve can inject her message i hate you alice and forged it that the message is coming from bob we use the concept of digital signature for authenticity the fourth goal of cryptography is non repudiation the word repudiation means denial of truth or validity of something suppose alice sends a text to bob and the message was protected by a cryptonium pipe so no one is able to see this message bob can verify this message was sent by alice and this message is not modified we assume we have techniques to verify this bob complain about this message with alice parents when alice parents inquired about this message she denied now consider this example in case of financial transaction this could be catastrophic so i'll again sum up the goals of cryptography the first goal is confidentiality or secrecy which means only the sender and the intended receiver should be able to understand the contents of the transmitted messages second goal is authentication which means both the sender and receiver need to confirm the identity of each party involved in the communication data integrity the content of their communication is not altered either maliciously or by accident in transmission and fourth goal is non repudiation which means an entity is prevented from denying its previous commitments or action so that's all for today thank you